Hi guys, Anna is here and in this video we're going to learn about the quaternary protein structure. So please grab a piece of paper and without further ado, let's jump into this topic. So, in my previous video, which I'm going to link in the video above, we discussed that the protein structure is separated into four components. Um, so those are the four hierarchies that make it into the shape it needs to be. So first, we discussed that the initial structure is called primary structure, which is just a chain of a straight chain of amino acids, which we also refer to as a polypeptide. The, then we have a secondary structure, and that is subdivided into two different components, and it can come in a form of the alpha helix or beta pleated sheet. Then the third structure of protein is referred to as tertiary structure. And this is basically a type of structure that will result now in this or refers to into over 3D shape of the protein. As here written. And then the focus of this video is going to be going through the quaternary structure of the protein. If you're not sure about the other structures, then please watch my previous video. Quaternary structure of the protein is actually quite easy, but it does confuse um, quite a few students. So to understand that, we need to go through the definition first. So the quaternary structure or quaternary protein consists of two main components. It consists of several polypeptides and or prosthetics groups. Okay, guys, while I'm writing this out for you to copy it down, let's discuss it. So first of all, it's important to understand that not all proteins are quaternary. So there are only a few examples of biology and we're going to go through two of those in this video. And even if protein does have a quaternary structure, it might not have the prosthetic groups. It's important to understand what prosthetic groups are they are examples of non-protein groups. So for example, as we're going to go through the hemoglobin, hemoglobin has four prosthetic groups called heme, which all contain iron two plus ions. Okay, so two components, several polypeptides and or prosthetic groups. Let's now go and look at the real examples of proteins that have quaternary structure. Number one is antibody. So I've seen this quite a lot in exams coming up. So let's just have a go and draw that. The antibody, as you can see from my drawing, consists of four separate polypeptides. It consists of two heavy chains and it consists of two light chains, which are all separate for polypeptides. And therefore, in that case, we can uh, refer to antibody as a quaternary protein. Please note that in the case of antibody, it doesn't have any prosthetic groups. Let's now go through a second example of a quaternary protein, which is hemoglobin, a classic protein that you guys have to learn for your A-levels. So I'm going to draw it into with four separate subunits. I usually tend to draw them as kind of four circle, for four separate circles, but they do bind together. And this is what I'm representing on this diagram. So each of those circles are basically different subunits of the hemoglobin. It's al the, there is alpha-1 subunit, alpha-2 subunit, beta-1 subunit, and beta-2 subunit. Please be careful and don't mix it with alpha helix and beta pleated sheets. There are two different things. These are actually four separate subunits. Okay, so then each of those subunits is going to have a heme group which is an example of a prosthetic group. Each of those groups contains an iron 2 plus iron, which binds to oxygen and transports it around the blood. In the case of the hemoglobin, the hemoglobin has a quaternary structure because it consists of four polypeptides and it has four prosthetic groups. Okay, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Press the thumbs up button, uh, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate all your support. And if there is a particular topic you'd like to see before any uh, in my particular order, then please do let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.